there's been times where I've been at work and um, I just have those days where it's it's just not the day. And there's one time where there's like, it's just really not the day for me. I just cannot do this anymore. You know, I'm tired of this. And um, I was having one of those days. And I remember texting my wife. We text frequently throughout the day. And um, whenever I have had a bad day at work, um, she'll always say, how can I make you feel better? And it's always like, well, what can we eat for dinner? Like, where can we go out to eat? And, um, you know, that's kind of like an inside joke we have. But this particular day, I asked her if I can quit my job. And she said, you can. When we made the official decision to do this transition, we also had an uncomfortable experience in our home. And it just, homes require a lot of money and time. And we seen that that was a reason why we weren't able to provide as much time and resources to ministry, which is what we wanted to do, because we were so bogged down with home ownership. Mm -hmm. And so coupling selling our home and quitting a job that is our sole income was very scary. But with God's hand underneath all of that, it took the fear away. And I think as even, you know, head of the household, to have a wife and two small children and to leave uh, a good paying job was very scary. Um, and the only thing that was able to help me get over that was the Lord. That's the only thing that helped me to overcome that. Obedience can change your life. Mm -hmm. Our life is completely different than what it was before. And not in a sense where it was bad and now it's good. It's more of a, we have this level of peace that nobody could ever take away from us. And we would never think that being together all the time <laughs> would be peaceful. And it's just been awesome. If you are in this moment of seeking God's wisdom, you have to relinquish control because what God did with us is something that I, with my control issues, <laughs> would never be able to do on my own. We could never have dreamed up what we're doing right now because it's not in our wisdom and it's not in our will. This is, we are living in the will of God and He is affirming that this is exactly where He wants us to be.